welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Double Dribble 5 on 5. 5 on 5? Jeez, I'm gonna need more Game Boys. We've looked at so many sports on Game Boy Roulette, football, baseball, tennis, golf, soccer, but one sport that has been surprisingly underrepresented is basketball. And it's not like there was a significant lack of basketball games, in fact there were six of them on the Game Boy, the randomizer just hasn't rolled any of them. Interestingly enough, five of them fell under the NBA banner, two All-Star Challenges made by LJN, two NBA Jams under Acclaim, and one NBA Live by Tier Text Design Studios. We just happened to roll the one basketball game Game, not endorsed by the NBA. And it's made by, wait, Konami again? I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. They were likely the most prolific Game Boy game developer, with their name attached to nearly 50 different titles. Not to mention, Double Dribble was originally an NES game made by them, and often cited as one of the first truly great basketball video games ever made, for its accuracy to the sport, incredibly fun dunk animations, and even its halftime show. Konami arguably were the ones to bring basketball to gaming properly before anyone else, so I have high expectations for them to bring it to the Game Boy as well. The cover is all-out basketball action, featuring at least one broken wrist, and let's be honest, probably a broken jaw as well. Ooh, another chance to win tickets. Man, these Game Boy games had all sorts of fun contests. Konami did a lot right with their other games, but how about basketball? From downtown to the Game Boy, it's Double Dribble 5 on 5. There's that logo again, which usually does mean a pretty decent game. Oh my god, amazing. Double Dribble 5 on 5! Oh, and we're back. Konami has this weird habit of, like, if you don't press start at the very beginning, it... Had to see it again. It just kicks you back to that. Alright, let's play. One player or versus. Oh, that's it? I guess just one player, then. Oh! Okay, we're here. Oh my god, look at that frog. America is looking particularly, um, oddly shaped today. The Portland Scouts, the Los Angeles Waves, the Boston Frogs, Detroit Wheels. Detroit Wheels? I live close to Portland in Seattle. Let's do that. And we will play against, um, Wheels. Time select five of them, level one. Um, okay, I'm extra buttons. Oh god, the flickering. Well, now you're just showing off. Okay, now that I have the ball, let's see what to do. A passed. Okay, A looks like it passes. And B to shoot. Whoops. Also, is there a way to steal? Oh! I mashed the buttons and I stole from him. Get back here. Okay, if I mash, 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 mash. Damn it! The music is weird. It's like really far away. Okay, so I think I have to hit B a second time at the top of my jump. In order to actually- Oh! Got it! Oh! Jerk! Oh yeah, do you see that thing in the bottom? I'm gonna need that ball to do some more experimenting. Sir, please. It is definitely a step down from the uh, NES version. Yep, okay, so you hold B to jump and then let go of B to throw. That's... that works pretty decently. Let's see if I can dunk. Dunk! What? I didn't let go in time, did I? I guess that's traveling. I don't know anything about basketball. I barely know what a ball is. I'm gonna dunk. There we go. Bam! I can do it too. Now, in terms of pure gameplay, this so far isn't bad. It's definitely a bit janky and a bit unwieldy. But at the very least, I can get things done. What I'm worried about is that title screen that said there was just one player and verses. Is this quite literally all there is? Oh, hey! We got a different dunk animation. Okay, this game is now five stars. What were you passing to, buddy? I mean, the thing is, there doesn't really seem to be that much, you know, back and forth. Oh, it's almost exclusively one team scores, then the other team scores. There is some fun to be had, at least. I mean, I can play the game. What's happening? Oh, we're running out of time. Ow. <laughs> Look at that blob over there. You know what? I want to check something. What can I do in verses? Maybe that means something else? Oh, I can't even select verses. That literally is just a two-player. This is the only mode. 
Hey, give me that back. Ah, oh, the music feels like it's trying to get going, but it's really quiet and awkward. I don't know, I certainly appreciate some things about this game, but there's a lot that's not working at all. Mostly the utter lack of modes. You know what? I just want to check, am I missing a mode? Let me just check something online really quick. Bear with me a sec. No, that's all there is. It's just one basketball mode. And according to this uh, discussion of the game, the teams don't really have any different stats, even though it claims they do. Yeah, at its core, it's fine, I guess. Oh, the steal! Ah, oh, that would have been so cool. But there's so little to do. Just walk back and forth. And the AI for my team is bizarre. We don't seem to be doing anything. Okay, this is it. I'm gonna get out. Slam dunk. Jerk! It doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason or logic to if you get the ball stolen or not. Well, bam Mash, 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 mash. But if you mash, you also do this weird one-foot pose. It's playable. That's one of those sort of damning with compliments moments. The game is, in fact, playable. It's more of a question of why would you when there's so many better sports games you can do. Back pass? What? This honestly is one of the worst Konami games I've ever played. What the? Oh, it keeps doing that. And I mean that in some way as praise because for the most part, all the Konami games I've played are at least pretty good. It's just this one has the least to do. The worst music. What even just happened? Worst actual gameplay. It definitely feels like a lazy port rather than one they put a lot of time into. I really wish I would know why I keep throwing the ball halfway across the world there. Not... Okay, the fact that the button for steal and shoot is the same is very annoying. It leads to me stealing and then immediately shooting. Yeah, this just feels like a very lazy port. Not terrible. Not the worst game I've ever played. Not even close. It is at least playable if you're desperate for a basketball game, but... It's just, eh, not that good. But let's see one more dunk to finish this up. You couldn't even give me that satisfaction game. You know, maybe I should just stick with literally any other Konami Game Boy game. It's not like there's a lack of them. With such a wide assortment of sports games on the Game Boy, you really need something that's going to provide a lot of fun for ideally a long time, and Double Dribble 5-on-5 five five was unfortunately lacking. Looking purely at gameplay, there was certainly some fun to be had. Passing and shooting took some skill, and while the game wasn't amazing looking, it still played at a nice pace, even with some minor flickering. But there was also issues with stealing the ball, the AI seemed all over the place in terms of how they played, and it definitely felt not as polished as the original NES game was. The much bigger issue, though, was with the game modes, or rather, the lack thereof. The game literally had one mode. All you could do is pick how long the games go and how hard the AI was. No seasons, no extra games, no nothing. For some games, that's okay, but for sports games, you really need to have even a little bit of variety. And with just one mode to play over and over, and all the issues with the game, it results in boredom very, very quickly. It's certainly far from the worst game I've played, but I can't really recommend it. If it had a few more gameplay styles, I might be able to look past the flaws, but it's hard to recommend a game that is so utterly hollow in terms of what you can do with it. Shame on you, Konami. This is the worst thing you've done since, uh, well, the past few years, really. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to subscribe so you can follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.